In this video, we're going to go over the preparation and reaction of nitriles. Nitriles are molecules that have carbon nitrogen triple bond. And this is a functional group that is classed with the carboxylic acid derivatives because it undergoes a lot of the same types of reactions, even though this doesn't have a carbon oxygen double bond. There are two common methods used to prepare a nitrile and one of them you're already familiar with. Um, this is just an SN2 reaction between some sort of alkyl halide and the cyanide ion. This reaction, not only does it um, add the nitrile group to the molecule, but it also adds another carbon. So I'm showing a, a two carbon um, chain being reacted with the cyanide group. And now there are three carbons in the molecule. And again, this is an SN2 reaction. So we do have to be a little bit careful uh, about the type of alkyl halide that we're using. Another method that we can use to prepare a nitrile is with an amide um, and using thionyl chloride, SLCl2. And this will very magically convert the amide to a nitrile. In this reaction, I just wanna kinda of highlight this carbon atom of the carbonyl group becomes the carbon atom of the nitrile. We can do hydrolysis reactions with nitriles, either acid catalyzed hydrolysis or base catalyzed hydrolysis. In the acid catalyzed hydrolysis reaction, we're using H3O plus, some type of strong acid, along with heat. Nitriles are not super reactive, so we need to help the reaction take place by giving it some heat. And this converts the nitrile to a carboxylic acid. Again, we wanna be you know, paying attention to where the carbon atoms are going in, in these reactions. So the carbon atom of the nitrile becomes the carbon atom of the carbon oxygen double bond. We could also do this under basic conditions. It's gonna still give us a carboxylic acid. Um, step one, using a strong base and we need some heat to help the reaction take place. And then step two, using H3O plus. And that's going to give us the carboxylic acid. And we've seen this a few times now where we can do the hydrolysis reaction, either one step using acid directly or two steps starting with a base and then using an acid. The carbon of the nitrile ends up the carbonyl carbon of the carboxylic acid. We've got two more reactions to go. We can reduce a nitrile to an amine. This is a reaction where you have to be really careful to make sure that you don't lose any carbon atoms as you're drawing the products of this reaction. And this re reduction reaction uses excess lithium aluminum hydride followed by water or H3O plus. And this synthesizes a primary amine. The carbon atom of the nitrile ends up right here in the molecule. And it's just really super easy when you're drawing these reactions to just kind of forget about the carbon of the nitrile group. Our eyes are so accustomed to only seeing carbon atoms when they are part of a line structure and not really acknowledging the letter C as a carbon atom anymore. So it's very easy to um, like if I draw the, this product right here, it almost looks like I've added an extra carbon to the molecule because um, in the nitrile, we're using the letter C for the carbon, but then over here in the product, we're converting that carbon or sucking it into the line structure. So like I said, be really careful that you don't um, accidentally drop one of the carbon atoms as you're drawing the product of this reaction. The last reaction that we're gonna look at is a reaction with Grignard's. Nitri nitriles react really unusually with Grignard's. So this is gonna be a two-step process, starting with our Grignard reagent, uh, just regular RMGBR, followed by water. And the product of this reaction is a ketone. Now at first you might be not, not really thinking um, that that's that big of a deal. Uh, the R group from the Grignard is right here. The Carbonyl, uh, the nitrile carbon becomes the carbonyl carbon, and then the R group um, from the Grignard ends up over here. I think I said that originally. The R group from the nitrile, the R group from the Grignard, and the carbon of the nitrile is the carbonyl carbon. Now, at first, you might not be thinking that much about this, but ketones are extremely reactive to Grignard reagents, so it seems funny that we would be able to actually synthesize a ketone in this reaction. It's actually kind of a roundabout reaction. The Grignard reagent produces an imine, uh, converts the nitrile into an imine, 
and the imine is not further reactive um, with the Grignard, so the reaction stops here. And um, let's see, I probably, and then uh, with the H2O plus, the hydrolysis, the imine is hydrolyzed to form the ketone. So it's kind of like a sneaky way of synthesizing a ketone using a Grignard reaction.